Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday and I have another project for you today. Today we're making another decorative pocket tissue holder, but this one has a pocket for your hand sanitizer and lip balm. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com for even more sewing and crafting projects. And if you'd like the written version of some of my projects that you can download on your computer or your device with the step-by-step -step instructions, photos, and a link to these tutorials, check out my Etsy shop, Deb's Days Designs. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need a six inch by six and a half piece of main fabric, a six inch by seven and a half piece of lining fabric, and a five inch by seven and a half inch piece of pocket fabric. You can find this supply list at debsdays.com. I've added a link in the description below this video. And if you'd like the written version of this project, I have the pattern available in my Etsy shop now. That link's down below as well. Our first step is to finish the top of the pocket. Fold the long edge of the pocket fabric down a quarter of an inch with the wrong sides of the fabric facing and press it. Fold the edge over another quarter of an inch and press it. Now top stitch an eighth of an inch away from the open edge. Now place the main fabric with the right side of the fabric facing up. Place the pocket fabric on top with the right side also facing up with the raw edges matching on the right side. The extra pocket fabric will be hanging over on the left. Baste the right side of the pocket to the main fabric an eighth of an inch from the edge. Now match the raw edges on the left. And again, baste it to the main fabric an eighth of an inch from the edge. Now let's use that extra fabric to make a pleat. Fold it somewhat in the middle. Now baste the bottom of the pocket to the main fabric again using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Now place the lining fabric with the right side of the fabric facing up. Place the main fabric pocket piece on top with the right side facing down and aligning those six inch sides on the right edges. Again, extra lining fabric will show on the left. Stitch down the right side using a quarter inch seam allowance. Match the raw edges on the left. Stitch the left side using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press the seams toward the lining piece, that largest piece. Turn the fabric right side out. Now adjust the lining so the same amount is showing on both sides of the main fabric. And press it neatly. Fold the piece in half to find the midpoint of the fabric and press it to make a crease. Open it back up. Fold one side to the midpoint crease and press it. Fold the other side to the midpoint crease and press it. Now use pins or fabric clips on each side to keep the layers together and stitch both sides using a quarter inch seam allowance, being sure to back tack at the beginning and the end. Add additional stitching at the opening to secure it. To finish the edges, Use a zigzag stitch or pinking shears to trim between the stitching and the edge of the fabric. Turn the holder inside out and add your pocket tissue pack, your hand sanitizer, and if you want, your lip balm. Now here's a tip. If your tissue packet opens at the top, make a cut in the back side and place it in the holder upside down. Or take the tissues completely out of the plastic packaging and place them in your holder. And just like that, just that fast, you have a decorative pocket tissue holder slash hand sanitizer holder slash lip balm holder. Thanks for watching and see you next week with another project.